Here are my tips and suggestions for parents or photographers if you're doing Santa mini sessions on how to make them a little bit more successful and to kind of help curb that drama sensation of Santa photos. I'm gonna show you examples of pictures, um, but this is not to say that the parents did anything incorrectly. This is just suggestions on how to make these images better and to make your experiences better for your next Santa photo sessions. First, parents, please come dress for your Santa photo session. I know most of the time you're just wanting the kids to be in the photo, but a lot of the times these little, little kids have not met Santa before or they have stranger danger and that is totally normal. So it really helps if you're actually in the photo with them. If you're wanting a really decent photo where they're looking at the camera, best to come dress, makeup, everything, being prepared to be in the photo. It'll make their experience meeting Santa so much better if you're in the photo. They're much more likely to be in the photo if you are in the photo. So many times I have parents come to the sessions where they're not dressed, they don't want to get in the photo at all. Uh, even though I sent out an email ahead of time telling them to be dressed, not all of them come dressed. So I'm telling you, the internet, please, 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 if you're going to any photographer, make sure you come pre-dressed and prepared to be in photos. Once parents agree to be in the photo, they generally are holding the child, but what they do incorrectly is they hold the child closest to Santa. And to be honest, the reaction to this is actually just as bad as them sitting on Santa's lap. So if you're wanting a better reaction, hold them away from Santa. They're gonna feel much more safe and they're more inclined to look at the camera and be much more calmer if they're not standing directly next to Santa. Well, this kind of just helps ease them in to meeting Santa so that way next year photos will be better. The next suggestion I have is probably more for photographers, but if the photographer doesn't think of it, this is something that you can suggest to them. So the chair that Santa normally sits in, maybe try asking if Santa is willing to step out of the photo, have the child sit in the chair and have Santa come behind the chair and pose behind the camera. You can distract the child by making them look directly at you while Santa's trying to get himself into position. This really helps because um, then the child is not focused on Santa um, and is more likely to look at the camera and you'll still have Santa in the photo, but just not directly on Santa's lap. My next suggestion is to try not to focus looking on your child the whole time in the photo to try to get them to look at the camera. Let the photographer take care of that. It makes the session go a lot smoother, especially if you are in a mini session where the time frame is very limited. If everybody is looking in a different direction in the whole time, you're less likely to get the photo with everybody looking. So just look at the camera, let the photographer handle trying to get the child to look at the camera. Oftentimes we get a lot of photos where the mom is looking down like this, the dad is looking at the camera. People that are able to look at the camera just start off looking at the camera and then we'll kind of focus on the people that are not looking at the camera. And with that said, if you are an assistant or somebody that's trying to get the child to look at the camera, we love it when you try to get your kids to smile, but don't stand to the side because basically what happens is the child is now looking at you. So instead of looking at the camera, they're looking like here. Um, and you probably don't want that photo. It's probably fine, but like you probably want the photo where you're, the child is looking at the camera. So the best thing to do is maybe standing under the camera like this. Um, and just doing your funny faces down here, or if you're tall enough, just standing over and doing your funny faces up here. Even above is kind of hard just because the child's now looking up and not like down, but like below, just right below the lens is probably the best place to stand. Great things to kind of help the child look at the camera is like ringing a bell, like a tambourine or something like that, something that makes noise, just enough just to kind of get the child's attention. And then last but not least is that sometimes kids will cry um, and that's totally okay. I actually think the crying photos are the most endearing photos. I think that sometimes parents stress themselves out too much because they don't want a crying photo. And obviously you want the photo to be perfect, but I think it's one of those photos where maybe not this year, maybe next year, maybe the next year after that, or maybe when they're grown up, you're gonna look back at that photo and still find it really valuable. Even though they're crying on the photos, those are actually kind of my favorite. And I actually really like the photos where the Santa is making the face to kind of mimic um, the reaction to the crying. I think those are just so endearing. Don't dismiss those crying photos. I think those are photos that it's kind of like a, a right to entry um, Santa meeting type of photo. So those are my tips for a successful Santa mini session. Hopefully that helps. Talk to you next time.